My name is Abu Andrew now. I am now officially a Muslim. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back. I'm Amna. So I just want to start by saying I am very shocked by this news. Well, not like 100% shocked, but I am like 50 50 on this because I know that Andrew Tate is someone who talked positively about Islam. I am surprised because of his lifestyle, previous lifestyle. So I was just not expecting this so much from him to become a Muslim, to actually become a Muslim. I just thought maybe, maybe not. I was not sure, but it actually happened. Like, <laughs> it actually happened. And I think it's a good thing. But at the same time, I am, I have mixed feelings about this. I don't agree with everything he has said in the past. He has said some controversial things in the past and I don't agree with all, not at all. I don't like how he has talked about women in the past and things like that. I hope he changes now that he is Muslim. I hope he learns how to treat women and things like that, how to talk about women. But I just want to say that I know that once you convert to Islam, all your previous sins are forgiven by Allah. So that's very important to know that, that once you convert to Islam, no one can hold your past against you, basically, because you are like a newborn human, like a newborn baby. Basically, like you, you have no sense now. So the same rule applies with him. Doesn't matter who he is, the same thing applies to him. So basically, he's better than me. He's like sinless now. But from now on, his actions do count. So he has to take that seriously. And I hope he does that. I hope he takes it seriously and takes this religion seriously because our religion is not a joke and it's not that it's not something to play with and i hope that he takes it seriously and actually i saw this video of him praying in the mosque it was really nice to see like that he's actually trying and taking steps towards learning about Islam and learning how to pray. There are a lot of people who have a lot of doubts about him converting to Islam. And like I say, I'm not 100% like 100% certain about this. I don't know. Reading this tweet here, it really helped me kind of to kind of just give him a chance, basically. <laughs> like. Because at the same time, Islam is a religion that is very much between you and Allah. The thing is, is with him is that he's so popular online. And that's kind of what I worry about. So many people watch him. A lot of Muslims and non-Muslims watch him. So I don't want him to say something wrong, you know, or give the wrong impressions of Islam. At the same time, he is a new Muslim. So me personally, I cannot have so high expectations of him. And I don't, I don't have, because I know myself as a new Muslim, I was not a perfect Muslim when I was a new Muslim. So I can't really expect it from him. So yeah, I think we should not have any expectations. We should just hope for the best for him. And I just really hope he changes his previous ways. Another thing I want to say before I watch this video of him, I just want to say that we should not put him on a pedestal, you know, just because he converted to Islam. There are so many people who just see him as like the best 
person in the world and I just don't really understand it. I don't understand it at all because I don't see it. I just don't see it. I just see him as a normal human being and you know now he's Muslim alhamdulillah and yeah I'm happy for him but it doesn't change anything for me at the same time like I see people I see Muslims leaving Islam because he converted and I see people like being very proud and happy that he's Muslim like I see both sides so it's just <laughs> kind of it's kind of weird for me to see that because it's just weird that someone would leave Islam just because he converted to Islam because like he doesn't own the religion it's not his religion and I'm still gonna be Muslim because you know there are so many mu Muslims who are doing bad things already that doesn't mean it's Islam it's it's just the people and people do wrong things and yeah so this doesn't change anything for me whatever he does he will be held accountable now that he is muslim he knows this so i will watch this short video called the truth about andrew tate accepting islam this video is from national believer channel so let's start my name is Abu Andrew now. I am now officially a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, I saw this video. It is the last true religion on the planet that it has to be the correct one. If you will tolerate everything, then you stand for nothing. It's true. People don't stand up and openly disrespect Islam because they're afraid. So once again, if you don't have rule systems and doctrines and beliefs and prophets, which people are afraid to mock, mm -hmm. are you even a religion? I do. Society I starts with small, small, small group. You have families and families make a street and that street makes a village and that village makes a town. That town makes a city and that city makes a country. So if it's broken at the very fundamental level, this family level's broken, that it's broken the whole way up. Yep, yep. And that's what's happened in the West. And the first world Islamic countries have none of those problems. So if you're gonna talk about a belief system that fixes issues, you need to go to Islam. Growing past <laughs> past this growing religion. Nice short video. Yeah, let's just not freak out about this or something. Just give people a chance and just let people be in their journeys as long as he tries and is trying and is really taking this seriously. That's what matters and there have been people who have completely changed after becoming muslim i'm just saying it will not happen overnight but with time it does happen and i do believe that with the right intentions and with a clean heart it will happen so i i just want to be positive and like that but at the same time like i say i don't have any expectations and we shouldn't have but i'm very happy for him that he found islam and he accepted islam because now he can truly have peace within himself because with 
these other things like luxury things or cars or women or whatever that he had in the past those things will not give you peace and it can give you the opposite even so islam is the only only thing that can really give you true happiness and true peace in your heart so alhamdulillah thank you for watching assalamu alaikum